Swoosh. Ciao. Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're going through a new projector that we didn't do in the paint run, and now we're doing it right now. So let's watch it. I don't remember doing this one. I don't know what's in here. I'm interested. I am interested. Suppose we have to stay high like before. No, oh, cow. Come, come on back. Come on back. Didn't really move much. Hello, goat. We'll write on your musical note. See what I did there? See what I? Whoa! Should have waited. Okay, got it anyway. Yeah, Steamboat Willie Part Two. We now have 35 film reels. There's one more film reel, and then we'll have all of them. But uh, that one is quite a distance into this game, so we're not gonna get there for a while. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. A leaning tower. Oh, ooh, this room is gonna be fun. I'm gonna knock a bunch of stuff over. This is exactly what I've been hoping I could do with just the world itself. You know, just knock knock stuff over. Cause uh, you know, stuff gravity and everything knocks things over. Newton apple falls on his head. Careful hitting it anymore might cause it all to collapse. Dominoes it only made half of it collapse. Get away. I wanna make it all fall down. Tim Burton. <laughs> what a sucker leaning tower of pizzah. Come up. Okay. So that's what the insider of the leaning tower of pizza looks like. Never wondered. Now we gotta climb up this. And how are we gonna do that but to freaking destroy the um whoa the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower Ooh, We're just doing so many evil things. <laughs> and we're riding on a cloud. Whee! Oh, whee! Okay, we're almost there. Here we go! Oh, look at the support! Who the heck would make that a tune support? Hmm. Tim Burton! He's made a bridge. Now we can get across safely. Oswald. What the heck was he doing down there? That's not what you're supposed to do, Oswald. That's not what you're Go on this side, I guess. Just jump on top of it. I guess so. This looks very dangerous. Hey! Especially with my terrible contrast. Look at it's all bent. <laughs> Look for a way in, huh? Oh, okay. Maybe in here. Uh oh. Small Pete. Hey, Mickey. So, you left my ship's log with those grubby gremlins, huh? Well, here's a little taste of what happens to those who cross me. What, you, you make a bunch of monsters? <laughs> I can do that. Sort of. So, this whole middle of this thing is like freaking pool of thinner, so. You can just knock all these guys in. If you're up to it. Or you knock them quite far enough, aren't I? Okay. Stop it. Oh, you have green eyes. How beautiful. Alright. Good eyes for the thinner, I guess. Can we eat him? Oh, whoa, he's sending more. This is quite an event. 
We did. Get in there. Go. Go. Yeah. Shazam. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Spatter. Stop running away from me. Why are they running? Oh, I know why. It's because they're alone. They, they, they want some company. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Freaking small Pete's just like laughing in the background. Oh, what a psycho. How many is he gonna send? Oh my goodness. Just never ends. Never ends with this guy. This is what we're supposed to be doing, isn't it? Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me with those grubby particles. I am not shooting them in the right direction. There we go. Go, Sweeper. Go! Oh my god. Am I doing the right thing here? Oh my... Wow, that was really long. You want one crazy mouse? I'm out of here. He didn't do his little, his little, little evil laugh. Ugh, what a jerk. Whoa, they put me right in the middle. Why would they do that? Okay, let's get out of here. I know where I'm going. Which is doubtful. Oh, right on. So we don't really get the treasure because we didn't uh, give him his log, but that's okay. So I'm going to skip through this projector screen, and I will see you on the other side for the clock tower fight. Alright, ladies and germs, here we are, the clock tower. We are actually going to beat this guy the evil way this time. Which... I think, personally, is a little cooler than the good way. But could be just because... Oh, I'm secretly evil! Oh, he smashed his hand all up. Look at that. Spraying thinner juice all over. That can't be good for you. G come on, China dolls. Give me some stuff. There goes his other hand. And once you erase his hands, you gotta erase his little forearms. Whoa! Watch it with them slams, man. Who do you think I am? So, whoa! Hello! Busted up his, uh, one of his forearms. Okay. Here's his other one. Woo, get out of there. Oh, I got hit. Oh, you jerk. That's almost perfect. Oh dear, it seems my time has come. Oh my god. Eat what hurt. Was he doing like the little Catholic praying thing? <laughs> I don't think that's what it was, but it sure looked really similar. Okay. So we kicked the clock towers behind. Oh, look at Gus. He's moping. Your paint or thinner capacity can change based on how you deal with important characters in Wasteland. Yep. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's so upset. Oh, Gus. You are a silly gremlin, aren't you? His eyes are spinning. Okay, well, that was fast. I guess we could uh, do some mean streets. Probably fit that in this episode as well. We don't really have to do any of the Pete 
or Horus quests. So... Hmm. Mickey Gus. Oh my god, it's Marcus. Oh my god, it's Marcus. Hello, Uncle Gus. Hey, Marcus, why don't you, um, go stand by a machine for a while? You know, for like 10 hours or something. That would be amazing. So, what? I guess, since we're not gonna do the quest to get power sparks, we're gonna have to, um, buy them and. So, I guess we will need e tickets. We're gonna have to buy power sparks and uh, find them. You know, those ones that are just hidden around. Okay, so we actually need the gears, so let's do that really quick. Um, Big Bad Pete, the one and only. I'm the go-to guy around here, and don't you forget it. Nothing gets done if I ain't around. I hears about everything, including the we running with Small Pete back in the world of Gremlins. You didn't help him at all, did you? Seems you're not the goody two-shoes everybody thinks. If you don't start helping out my family, I ain't gonna do nothing to help you out. And yeah, Gilda, Gilda, Gilda. Wow, actually the music's different. Oh wow, that's crazy. I didn't know the music changed. And he just looks... It's about ready to punch somebody in the face, doesn't he? Alright, okay, Gilda, we'll race you. I can't believe the music changed. That's really crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're climbing, Axe. We know all about that. What a glitchy thing. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, let's go, yes. Wonderful. Alrighty! Three, two, one! And go. Oh dear, Gilda. Oh dear. Oh da 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 Ow. That hurts. That hurt. A little bit. It hurt my pride. Now oh, everybody looks depressed. Mm. What a shame. What a shame. Thought we we're being evil, so that's what we're going for here. Here's the gear. Yes, okay. Let's go talk to Horus. Get the other gear. Get this show in gear. Show in gear. Would you like to enter? Yes. Yes, gosh darn it. Skip, 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 skip. Oh my god, he's gonna start talking. Ooh, that was close. You're in Wasteland, I'm an ace detective. Yeah. Wow, he looks really upset. He doesn't even have his hat on. <laughs> oh, Horus, you're silly. Wait, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, I, I remember. I remember now. We've got to get his book on how to be a detective, because for some reason he doesn't know how to be a detective. Oh wow, he looked... Casey, you look pissed. Yep, Polly the ice cream vendor. Jeez, look at him, he's so angry. Casey, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of you. In particular. You're probably the evilest character in this game. Selling for outrageous prices. Why don't you get a real job? Stop feeding off the poor little mice like myself. Ooh, Polly's Polly's mean too. Uh yep. Just give me the book. Just just give me the book. Stop again soon. No. I'll never be back, Polly. 
Your ice cream store will go unanswered. Actually, that's not true. We're gonna have to buy ice cream later. First... Missed lactose intolerance. So, yeah. We'll be back. We will be back. Again, another day. Hey, Mr. Horse. Here you go. Hey, you, know, you know what I just realized? If you say Horace really fast, it sounds like horse. It just never occurred to me until just now. <laughs> horse. Ho horse. Horse. Hmm. Cool. Oh my god, I kept pushing A. No! Clarabelle makes me a pie, but I want an ice cream cake. Yada yada yada. I actually did miss the ice cream uh, cake in the last run, but I'm not going to go for 100% um, pins, because I don't think you get anything from getting 100% pins. So it's really not... not really on my list of things to do. Plus, we're being evil, so if we did that, we'd be nice, and that'd be dumb. Okay. So I guess we can turn in our film reels, or extra ones. I don't, I don't know how this is going to work. You have enough reels for another reward. You've helped me out so much, I made some arrangements and found something special for you. It's a magic wallet that can hold a great amount of e-tickets. They say it was made by the same wizard that created this world. Really? It even has some e-tickets already inside of it already. He said already twice in one sentence. Oh my god, how many tickets are in that thing? You don't have enough film reels for a reward. Come back when you have more. What? Oh my god, that thing had a, a thousand tickets in it. That is ridiculous. You recovered both the gears? Fantastic. Oh, power sparks. So, oh yeah. So the one in the museum. Which means we have to get the... Uh, swashbuckler thingy from this guy, right? Oh shoot. Oh, we'll have to talk to her and then come back. Okay. Here we go. This is It's weird though. Hmm. Well, we do have a lot of e-tickets now, so really, there's no, there's no reason to farm e-tickets. <laughs> Just got a buttload. I'm Laurelie. Okay. We want something. I want something more interesting than a glowing ball of pure, unrefined energy. Clarabelle. I mean, Laur, Laurelie. Maybe you should look into physics, because I'm sure that's not a natural occurring light orb you have there, and that could be worth a fortune. Who knows? Who knows? I have a cutlass. Give it. Give it to me. Yay, thank you. I appreciate giving of me this... What? We didn't receive it. Such a liar achievement thing at the bottom of my screen. I've already gotten that. Okay. Here is your... Nif? Oh, look at this cutlass. I'm going to put this over there. And here, give this to you. Thank you. Yeah, I really think Mickey is dripping a lot more now that we're evil. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. I wonder if he gets, like, even worse, like, starts gooping all over. Ooh, that'd be crazy. When they were first talking about this game, like, before they released it, like, they showed pictures of Mickey like mischievous Mickey and he was he looked a little angry and stuff which was really cool but I think they took that out because they didn't want Mickey to look evil or something 
Something, something dumb like that. So I guess they made him drip more, which eh. it's all right, I guess. It's all right. Skip, 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 okay. Alright, so I will skip through this projector and see you guys in Town. Okie dokie. Here we are in Town, a land of wonder and beauty. There's Donald's boat. And Oswald's statue. And a guy standing precariously under a safe. Hmm. I know exactly what to do. Clarabelle? No. No, Clarabelle. No! It sounds dangerous. Believe me, there's nothing dangerous about it. Sure, we have to climb a very large mountain, Clarabelle, but you know what? We've done it. We've done this. Mm-hmm. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Hey, Moody. Maybe you shouldn't stand there, buddy. Things like this are liable to happen. Yes, yes. It will drop right on Moody. Thank you, Gus. That's exactly what I want. What? You did see Moody standing under that thing, right? Took him a long time to recover from that. Well, yeah, I'm sure it will. Kinda just disappeared underneath it. I don't know if... Hmm. I don't know what that means. Alright, Prescott, we'll get... we'll get... You know what? You know what? How about, how about you beat up our phone? Because... Phone's a regular jerk. So, Goofy, we're not even gonna talk to you, buddy. Oh my god, it's my house. Oh wait, it's not yours. Okay. We gotta go in and out, in and out. In and out. Oh wait, no, oh shoot, we have to talk to him. What am I, what am I thinking? We have to feel compassion for him before we let the gremlin beat him up. No way! He'll disassemble me. Is that so? Oh. I'm so sorry, telephone. I'm so sorry. Scoop it up, zip it up, zip it up, and... <laughs> Telephone thinks he can keep my wrench. He's not even a gremlin. Yes, go on in, buddy. Yay. Ah, we're back in business. Meet me by the bridge. Okay. So let's go take a looky loo at one Mr. Phone. See if he actually got disassembled. <laughs> oh my goodness, he did! It's just a big old gear. Looks like he left this gear behind. We should hang on to it just in case. Hang on to it? What am I gonna do with this? Jeez. Oh, Mr. Gus. Wow, the music in here is different too. Oh my god, it's so evil sounding. <laughs> Alright, here I go! Clang, clang, bang, bang. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Thank you, Mr. Prescott. Good luck on Mickey Junk Mountain, Mickey. That is almost, that is borderline redundant, my friend. 
Not really, it's not quite redundant, but it's borderline. Okay. So, I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, here we are on Mickey Junk. Yes. yes, yes, we have seen Mickey Junk Mountain. Oh, goody, the bunny children. Look, they have like one little tooth. I didn't notice that. How cute, how cute. Alright. So, all we gotta do here, paint in the three TVs, and that's it. But, uh, we'll actually do that on the next episode. So, I will see you guys next time.